okay we will solve one problem three charges of q1 one q2 two coulomb q3 three coulomb placed at the corners of equilateral triangle of side 1 meter so first we will draw the equilateral triangle of uh, 1 meter okay so here find e at the point bisecting the line joining q1 and q2 so we will take this as q1 this as q2 this is q3 so line point you should find e at the point bisecting this line joining q1 and q2 so this is a perpendicular distance so i will call this as point p we should find e at this point okay so here i will mention what are the values of this q1 the point q1 value is x and y so it is y it is x x and y zero q2 uh, here what is that point is so here this point is a this point is b what is the value of x here it is 1 what is the value of y 0 and what is the value of this uh, c so we should write what is c so c means x value is here total it is 1 so it is half 0.5 and what is the value of y y means this much so we don't know that uh, length of this so it is find find out length of this it is uh, perpendicular means Pythagoras theorem so take it as uh, BC square is equals to CP square plus PB square so I want CP square is equal to BC square BC square value is what is BC square value 1 square minus pb square pb square is uh, it is 0.5 so it is 0.5 square so you will get cp square value as this much 1 minus 0.5 square so for simplicity i am not just calculating the values okay so here so if you calculate you will get 0 0.86 something like that okay so i will write it as uh, 0 0.86 okay so here we got three points so here i will write a 0 0 b 1 0 c 0 0.5 and 0 0.86 okay so here what we should find i will write here to find what we should find electric field intensity at point p we should find so how many charges are there q1 q2 q3 so i will take the arrow directions like this because we should find all this with respect to this charge this point so here i will write this total electric field intensity at point p due to a due to b due to c can be written like this so individually you calculate what is eap eap is nothing but q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r uh, square into a r so here r is nothing but once you take like this r so it is a p a and p so it is vector similarly it is r b p similarly it is r c p so here it is uh, first one a p it is a p so in this q at this point a p means we are finding q1 q1 we know that is one column so we should find this uh, distance vector magnitude and all so for that we have the points a b c and also the point p so point p what is the value of point p x value is uh, 0 0.5 y value is 0 okay so here calculate a p vector or r a p vector it is nothing but p minus a vector so what is p vector 0.5 a x a vector is uh, origin so we will get this so magnitude of rap so you will get uh, 0.5 root of 0.5 square will get cancelled so init vector also you can write so 0.5 ax 0.5 so you will get only ax okay so if you find out if you just substitute all here so i will show it only for one q1 one column so one divided by four pi epsilon naught means nine into ten power nine rap square what is the value of rap 0.5 so it is 0.5 square what is the unit vector ax 
so if you calculate this eap rhs side you will get some answer with respect to ax similarly so have the formula with respect to ebp so it is charge q2 4 pi epsilon naught r square bp so it is a r bp so here now bp you should find how to find bp p minus b p is known b is known so similarly calculate similarly you should calculate the e cp once you got the three different answers just add it you will get the answer so the problem is uh, about the reading what you should find and depending on that you should draw the diagram this is how you should solve the problem regarding electric field intensity due to the charges which is given okay for the equilateral triangle one meter okay thank you do, so do subscribe my channel for uh, latest notifications click on the bell icon thank you and take care